Hi, Lisa Christensen here. I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful background and how you can make it look amazing. While I talk, I'm going to add some yellow, some liquid watercolor to my palette. And I'm making, I'm using three different colors. And really with watercolor, what I love about watercolor is that you can make so many different colors out of just a couple different colors. So right now I'm using liquid watercolor from Tailored Expressions. You can kind of see it. Uh, this is Cookie Monster. The blue is Cookie Monster. The yellow is Lemon Meringue with um, from Tailored Expressions. And when it comes to new pigment, new watercolor, I really don't love to play with, I don't like to buy like a whole set. I like to buy a couple, see what I like, and then add on to it. And so as I've been playing with the uh, <laughs> with the Tailored Expressions watercolor. It's been a really fun thing and I really don't know. I can get a lot of colors with just these colors so I don't have to mix. I, I don't have to buy pre-mixed colors when I know my color theory. So um, when it comes to liquid watercolor, it, I feel like it's really important to just play around with with the colors. So that's what I did here and that's what I did with this one as well. This one is made with water watercolor and then this one is liquid watercolor. So you can kind of see the difference. Um, this one has watercolor ha is made with pigment so it's going to be granular. This liquid watercolor I have yet to see it granulate like watercolor. So I don't know if this particular the the pigment is dye or if it's actual real pigment it doesn't really matter for this card but that is that is something to think about okay so i'm going to go ahead and start with my blue my blue and i'm going to go ahead and start with the new this is a water color piece of paper i cut it down to five by five and a quarter by four and so what I'm doing is I'm just going to start really just painting. And then the secret is to get a clean brush every time you change your colors. And I know I'm going to need more magenta already. But what I'm doing is I'm going to let the magenta bleed into the blue a little bit. And then I'm going to bleed that a little bit into this. Now each card you make is going to be completely different and that is what you want. Uh, water is your friend with this technique. The more water you use the better and you can kind of already see it blending. It's going to look really cool when it's done. And then again clean brush, very clean brush and lots of water. And now I'm going to go into this and I made an orange color and I'm just going to dab that right in here. Oh, look at how bright it is. Okay, and then when you want, you can start splattering. You don't want a lot, just a little bit. There, that looks good right there. And then I can go back into just my yellow. And I'm going to kind of go right next to it. I don't want to get my I want my yellow to be as pure as possible now I'm going to go in and dab in that yellow to the orange and I'm going to and I want it to blend I want it to just blend it's so pretty that way look at how vibrant that is isn't that super vibrant it just makes me happy um yeah you can kind of see it when I move it's super wet right now uh so now I can go into the green my green and again, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, you guys, this, I've been watercoloring for three years. So this seems very intuitive for me. It's not going to feel intuitive if you just started watercoloring. And I know everyone's looking for that quick, fast, easy technique. This is easy. But if you have, if you're brand new to watercolor, this is not going to be an easy technique. So be patient with yourself. Take your time. It is a super fun technique when you can make it work. And then I'm going to go back into this blue again. Look at that. It like becomes teal. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love it. 
because I got green on my brush, I didn't want the green to... And because this is all the way to the end, I think I'm going to add this blue to the top. And I'm just wetting this down a little bit because this has already started to dry and I want it to look more like it's blending. So you just wet it down a bit. And then I can drop in the blue. Just like that. And maybe I could fuss and I could say, oh, I went too far out, but that's okay because I can always put a stamp on it, a stamp in the middle, and it won't look too bad. Or I can put a sequence right there, or what I might actually do is just do that. The hardest part about this technique and with most watercolors is you have to just let it go. You got to paint, put your paint down and then walk away from it. And that's what I do. So, um, and I'll paint three or four at a time. So I know that I'm getting something perfect. All right. So let's try this again. I'll show you one more time. I, with this technique, I also think it's really important to keep your mat clean. And I just use a washcloth. And you don't ever really know. It's just a fun exercise. I love this exercise too a lot because I can get a lot of different colors. I'm just going to add some more pigment. This is my, my lollipop liquid watercolor. And a little goes a long way. Liquid watercolor is very potent. I almost think it's very close to uh, the reinkers, like from any watercolors, any water soluble reinkers. So, for instance, Tim Holtz reinkers are very, very potent. So are these. You don't need very much. Like this blue, I'm going to have to find out what else to do with this purpley blue goodness. And maybe I'll do one where I'm painting most of the scene. So let's do the whole card. Because I always like that too. And then I'll go and do one more where it's not the whole card. And So really it's just a lot of putting paint on, trusting that you are going to like it, cleaning your brush every time you get a new color, and seeing what happens. I'm just playing. This is the best part of my job is I get to play with color and see what happens. And when I get to play with color, good things always come. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's not for everybody, but I absolutely love playing with color. I think that's why I chose watercolor as a as a medium to really play with. Now I could leave it like that, and I might actually because I really like how that's turning out. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit, and I'm just going to bring that color all the way down. And then, because of that orange and that red and the pink, I really like that, but I need some more yellow. And because I can, what happens if I put this right there? Because I'm all about having lots of pigment on my paper vibrant pigment look and it's just it's gonna play it's and so that's another fun thing about watercolors you can really just move it around with just a little bit of water isn't that fun now because I just got some yellow why not do some splatter and very lightly I'm not a I'm not splattering it I'm being very particular on where I want it to splatter and very gently there we go Cool. I love that. That's going to look beautiful for a background. Isn't that fun? Uh, so ideas for something like this would be you could put a mermaid on it or a unicorn or any kind of magical rainbow type creature you can think of. I'm thinking of like unicorns as they're so popular, but you got this beautiful purple and the pinks and the orange. It reminds me of a fun sunset. So there's another one done. Let's see if you... It, Watercolor, liquid watercolor is a lot of fun to play with.
I will show you one more fun technique that I love to do with liquid watercolor. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a bead of watercolor. This is purple. I didn't actually make, I didn't buy the purple. Remember, this is just lollipop and cookie monster that I mixed. If you wanted it to be more blue, add more blue. If you wanted it to be a bit more red, add more red. All right, I like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep cleaning my brush every time I swipe through. And I'm using good watercolor paper. That's why I can hold it like this and it's not going to change up too much. Now, because it's almost white, I'm going to add a little bit more to the top and I'm just going to let it flow. See that? Isn't that fun? And because it needs more watercolor, it needs more water to flow down. I can do that. Now what happens, I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to here. All right, and I don't necessarily want that, but since I have a whole bunch of uh, lollipop on, I'm going to change sides, and I'm going to do the same thing to the top. Now I can start adding just the water. Water is your friend. If you're ever wondering why things, why your watercolor isn't turning out the way it should, it's because you do not have enough water. I cannot stress that enough. And again, I'm going to not be as fussy about it. I'm going to let it play. You can kind of see the watercolor just doing its thing. And while I'm holding it at an angle, I'm going to add some magenta. Why not, right? I want the magenta and the purple to bleed together. All right, so I know this is kind of getting off topic, but I wanted to show you how I like to play with liquid watercolor. Because I know alcohol inks are super duper popular right now, which is fun, but you can really get the, I don't want to say the same effect, but you can get a lot of fun effects with liquid watercolor, which you might already have. And then you don't have to go out and feel like you're buying a whole lot of paint and not know what to do with. And I, I'm just kind of, I'm just playing you guys. You don't want to overwork it, but at the same time, I want my purples and my pinks to blend. And I am thinking that this will be a really fun, um, I don't know, background. And because my paper is really wet, I can, I can play a little bit more. And I really do want this to start blending, so I'm dabbing it in and just then letting it play. There, I'm going to let it be. Now, in this instance, maybe I would want a bottle that's already painted with or mixed with the purple and the blue, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the purple being a little bit lighter than the magenta. And I think it's going to be a really fun background. So that's another easy, simple background. Uh, to make and when it dries it's going to dry flat so let me show you some of the things I have done so I I made this one yesterday with regular watercolor nothing different about it and I also wanted to show you this so I I like to just do a simple stamp in the background <clears throat> like this, maybe add some sequence, and then I'm done. I'm good. It's super bright, super colorful. Loving it for my tween daughter who loves everything rainbow. And it's all thanks to these vibrant, luminescent watercolors. I love these liquid watercolors. So if you have liquid watercolor, give them a try. If not, I think these were like three, maybe four dollars a tube, which is really, really inexpensive for. The quality you're getting you're getting this luminescent watercolor that 
that a lot of artists strive for and it's really simple to do and look at this I'm gonna since this is my test piece the I didn't show much of the orange but this yellow and the red the lollipop and the lemon meringue look at that beautiful red and if I wanted to I could add a little bit more yellow look at how beautiful that is it's just gorgeous so Give liquid watercolor a try. Bust out those liquid watercolors. Bust out those re-inkers. The re-inkers will be the same sort of thing. Uh, maybe not as luminous because Tim Holtz likes to use a lot of different pigments or dyes into one. So you're not thinking about color theory. But these, these will give you that luminescent quality that you're looking for that all the card makers strive to have when it comes to watercolor stuff like that and it's simple um splatter is fun anyways give this a try it's super fun i enjoyed painting last yesterday with this i hope you do too and let me see what you got and chris thanks so much for letting me host your guest post on your blog i really appreciate it you're awesome and check her out check all of the fun copic markers that she does Thanks and have a great day.